Hello, I'm Nathan Comiskey and you're watching Sporting Icons. And I've got one of these for you. All right, Nathan. Hello, Martin. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you too. In fact, last time I seen you, uh, you were standing over an opponent who was out cold. Well, that's very, uh, very different circumstances. But uh, yes, I was. I was. Uh, that was the 26th of Feb. Yeah, two weeks ago now. Mm-hmm. Two weeks now. Yep, yeah, my last fight um, obviously went went very well. I couldn't have went any any better getting the first round stoppage. Um, so yeah, I was over the moon. Peeled myself down off the ceiling shortly after, and then uh, back in camp now uh, for the next one on the eighth of April. Well, straight after you uh, knew I was coming with a camera for an interview, and uh, you pissed off. Well, I had pla I had places to be. You know what I mean? There were celebrations that needed to be had. You mean you had pizza to eat? Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> exactly that, and be at a drink. <laughs> So how was it then? Um, you literally went for the knockout, didn't you? Because you started off aggressive. Well, I, I did. I mean, I, I wasn't. I wasn't in my head thinking I'm going to knock this. I'm going to knock this kid out. I was thinking I'm going to put the pressure on him. Um, and I, I did believe he would crumble. I knew he was um, susceptible to the body. So I, I went to the body straight away. And as we know, the old saying in boxing: chop the body, and the head will fall. So all I had to do was look downstairs. His hands came down, and I dropped that one over the top. And that was all she wrote. So, yeah. I think I probably watched that knockout. I don't know. It must be a hundred times by now. A <laughs> hundred times. <laughs> Fucking hell. I couldn't stop watching it, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, it was surreal, mate. Uh, it was surreal. But it, um, you can't take too much from it, though. And um, I'll not be getting ahead of myself. Um, stay humble in this game. Because, as I said, after it can happen to anyone. Um, one punch can change a fight. So, you know, it could be, could be me on the other end one day. I hope not. But, um, yeah, stay humble. So your first fight, obviously I was there for it, and uh, you got the rounds in, which is obviously important, and this one you did a complete U-turn and just went, right, he's getting out of here. <laughs> well, as you know you know the, the story, Martin, um, in December last year I, I never got to box, um, and I had a couple of camps last year that fell through at the last minute, so I, I was very frustrated and I did have a lot of energy um, to let out. And to be honest, mate, I felt possessed. I genuinely felt possessed when I was walking out. Um, something almost religious to be totally honest with you like a different feeling than I've ever had before and um, yeah I mean it was me but at the same time it wasn't me when I went in there and I just did my thing you know what I mean I was maybe I was maybe reaching a little bit much and I was very eager and um, you know I could be maybe be a bit more polished for the next one and I, I certainly hope to be but um, we got the job done so you know no complaints no complaints well, I will say, though, you can't done me a favour by uh, stopping us out in the first round because, obviously, I'm filming all the Your fights. Your card running out, like. <laughs> My battery was going, and I'm thinking, oh, shit, am I actually going to get the last fight in here? <laughs> and then uh, you come out, first round knockout, I was like, go on, lad. Yeah, thank me, thank me now, mate. Exactly, exactly. But, uh, nah, I, honestly, I didn't see it going that long. I, uh, I, sorry, I didn't see it uh, being as short as it was. Um, I wasn't bothered whether it went the distance, but um, I knew I was going to sink them in the body. But that shot came, and I found found the punch. And anyone who knows me from high school will know that overhand right is in me DNA, and it always has been. Um, used to be a bit wild, and I, I threw it. I've been watching Rocky Marciano, and he hits Jersey Joe Walcott with the sweetest uh, right hook ever caught on camera. I think it's a beautiful picture of it, and he's just nice and low, dead squat, hands nice and tight, and he just turns it. And all the power's coming from his legs. And I'm not comparing myself to Rocky Marciano. But Why not? That, but that, that's, that's the shot, in it? Nice and tight. And all my ancestors are in there for that one. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, looking back, I do feel sorry for the lad because uh, you, you, right? you were stalking him. I was stalking him. I was, I was hunting him. I was hunting him. And uh, that's it. Like, I just... It's one of them things, isn't it? I think when you put the pressure on, you're waiting for the, you know, it's on a knife's edge, and as soon as it slips, it, you know, you're I'm, that's what it was. I was so uh, hypersensitive because all my adrenaline was, you know, pumping. As soon as he showed me that glint of weakness, he was gone. And uh, that was it, you know what I mean? That was it. Well, that was then. This is now April the 8th. You're back out again. I am. Uh, Rayton Meadows Arena. Rayton Meadows Arena, yeah, Job's and Phil Jeffries promotions. I've uh, got the show on there. It's where I had my debut. Um, so I would like to ask 
uh, everyone supporting us. Um, if any of you want to come and show your support and get a ticket, um, there's table seating and there's also standard tickets available. Uh, and I'd really appreciate, you know, the more the merrier to come along and support me. Um, and I promise to put on uh, a show for you again. I've been, you know, training my socks off and I'm, I've been straight back into camp with John, as you've seen today, Martin, um, pushing us through my paces. I've had a lovely lad, Medi Arcades, uh, come over from France to do some training here and um, sort of rub palms with Matty. Um, I think, you know, there might be something happening there in the future, but um, I've had some great rounds with him and I've been training alongside him. And, you know, like say it's who you surround yourself with and, you know, being next to an elite kid who's boxed all over the world for his country, um, it's, it's certainly inspirational and, you know, I've met some great people through the sport and he's one of them. So, yeah, been canny. And for anybody who's thinking, yeah, I'd like to go, but I'm busy then, so, so I won't, just buy a blue ticket anyway. You don't have to attend if you can't make it, but still buy a ticket. Buy a ticket, pass it on. Do you know what I mean? Give it to your gran, give it to your mum. You know what I mean? It's Mother's Day soon. You know what I mean? Do, do, do something nice. But uh, I don't know. You know what I mean? If you, hey, if you want to buy a ticket, um, if you want to buy a ticket, and uh, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll distribute them to any, uh, <laughs> any look, any lucky people who might want one. Do you know what I mean? Can I have one, please? Uh, Martin, you can come for free. Oh, okay. You can come for free, mate. All right, Nathan. Again, congratulations, and I look forward to the next. Pleasure, Martin. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers. And uh, can I just say quickly, thank you, a big thank you to the LGA Foundation, my sponsors, and Boiler House gentlemen, all the lads there, um, who have been on board from day one, who support me. Without them, it wouldn't be possible. Thank you so much. And your very own cameraman? And my very own cameraman, Martin. The very no, 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 the photographer. Very, well, very handsome. Uh, but he's on the other end of the camera. We don't know why. We don't know why. But, um, and Adam Barnsley as well, me photographer. Uh, we love you, Adam.